Well, good morning, Dog Crucis. We are here on a lovely Tuesday morning, and uh, we're at your pet space. So we are once again showcasing uh, some of our customers, our clients of Dog Crucis Magazine. We've been trying to feature one or two each week, and uh, so we're out here. They're up on uh, Picacho. See the right over here across from the maze. I always like the maze as well. And uh, so, see here, they got one of their pups already in the outdoor area. They actually opened this big garage door over here uh, when it starts to warm up just a little bit more. So, let's head on inside and see if we can uh, see if Joy's here and Dave. Although, I think I saw Dave taking a dog out for a walk. Well, here we go. Hey, hey Joy, how are you? Good, so I was just telling everybody that we're out here on a beautiful uh, uh, Tuesday morning and uh, the weather's wonderful and we're paying a visit to some of our clients. So we're here at your pet space, as I mentioned outside. So you guys are kind of unique and different. They'll be able to see this when we go inside, but you guys do a open area, free for all, everybody gets to play, have a good time yes. uh, concept, which was kind of new for us, um, especially in overnight care. Right. Uh, that they're not kenneled overnight. Right, right. And it's actually called community boarding or cage-free boarding. Um, we're the only facility in town that offers this. We're also the only one that has staff on site 24 hours with boarded pets. All of our staff is trained in canine and feline CPR and first aid. And Dave and I and one of our staff members are the only three people in New Mexico to have PAC certification, which is professional animal care certification. Well, that's pretty fancy. Yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. Well, neat. Well, let's uh, let's take a walk through, and, and before we get into the main facility, I do want to say that I know that our friend Kim Fuqua over at uh, Las Cruces Dog Sports, she also comes over here, and this is uh, the area where you guys do some uh, massage. Mm -hmm. um, what else do you do? Yes, we also offer massage, uh, Reiki, chiropractic, and um, essential oils classes for pets here. And are those by appointment, or how does it work? The uh, therapies are by appointment, the essential oils classes are twice a month, and usually the dates and times can be found on our website, yourpetspace.com. So if I come over with Scout, how does it work? Like Scout gets 10 minutes of massage from Kim, then I get 10 minutes of massage from Kim, then we'll Scout to gets Kim 10... Kim about that. I think Kim needs a package <laughs> where, like, the, where like I get a little bit of massage and then so does the Scout, but we, we'll, we can work that out. So, Well, great. Well, let's uh, head back over into your... Uh, your main area here and uh, it may be a little loud at first it's always a uh, new new guy coming on the floor yeah dogs exactly. get a little bit crazy <laughs> so um, we actually have six play areas inside um, this is Tori who's one of our uh, interns at hey Tori oh, there's Crush. Hi, Crush. so that's Crush and the dog that was just up there is Subi hi Subi hi hey, Subi back here Hi everybody. It's for large Hi everybody. Play style dogs. Hi everybody. Uh, we group the dogs according to age, size, and the way that they play. The very first day they come in, they're introduced to their play group one dog at a time, and we see how they get along. And every time they return, they're placed with that same play group. Neat. So the sections on the opposite side, you can kind of see uh, Molly over, <coughs> over the wall. That's our shooting star area for the dogs that like to jump a lot. You can see the fence is a little L bit little high. higher wall. Yeah. The section to the left of it is called Space Cadets. That's where we put our puppies anywhere from three months to two years old. And then we have two sections at the back. Uh, one is called the Milky Way, which is for older dogs. And the section behind it is called the Triple Zone for the smaller dogs. Now I was telling people when we were outside, when it gets a little warmer, this big uh, bay door here actually opens up and the dogs have an outdoor play area to yes. go play in. Yes, we actually have two yards outside. We have a large one in the front and a small one that runs along the side of the building. Those are two separate yards so the large and small dogs can be out together without being together. Cool, that's yeah. pretty neat. Well, we're gonna walk back over here because one of the, the my favorite things to look at is when, when they spend the night, instead of being in a kennel, they get to sleep kind of like they're used to sleeping at home, and that is in a uh, on the bed or on the, the sofa. Yep, they can. One of the things that we ask when a new dog comes in is, is your dog allowed to be on the furniture? Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. So this is Lou and Luna back here. Hi, Luna. Hello. Hi, 
Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Like, don't you take my couch? So um, at nighttime, what happens is the larger dogs come to this area of the Milky Way, and the smaller dogs go to the Tribble Zone area. Um, both areas have these couches that fold out into a bed. And then Dave, my husband, is here overnight with them. He just picks whichever side has the most dogs. Now, how does it work? Who's control uh, controls the? I see a little TV there. So who? If they were uh, at home. Okay. Yeah. We sorry about that. We lost internet there for a minute. I think it's this big metal building got yeah, a, got a little is. tight. So let's see if we can make our way and keep uh, an internet connection as we go around. Yeah, this is kind of fun. I like the uh, the idea of uh, the sofas. Yeah, it's much softer for an older dog who maybe doesn't need to run around quite as much. This area back here is called the Tribble Zone area. It's really intended for small dogs. Looks like they're all outside right now. But you can kind of see um, the space tents we have so they can go underneath something if they need to feel a little safer. But there's nice comfy couches with blankets on them. That couch looks like mine after our cat gets done with it. <laughs> yeah, somebody's already found their little sofa there, I see. Yeah, hi, Lou. Lou's all, hey, check it out, I'm on the sofa. Yeah, but just to comfort those who don't want their dogs on the sofa, we can make a note of that and not allow them to get on the furniture. So, uh, and also, if people, for some reason, don't want to bring their, their, their pet here for boarding, you guys also do, um, um, uh, you go to people's homes. Yes. So, uh, you know, every once in a while we have a dog that's not as social, or maybe um, <coughs> a, a ill and unable to really run around a lot. Yeah. Uh, we have one client who does nothing but adopt older dogs that are in the last stages of their life. And also we take care of cats, horses, ferrets, everything. I'm waiting for my first snake job. Actually. Wow. <laughs> but uh, we can go to your home, take care of your pets there if that's the best option for them. So we do all kinds of care like that. Neat. And you know what? I'm looking over there. I can't help but the, the golden retriever that's king of the hill, king of the bridge. Yes. That's Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Sammy's all, I'm in charge here, and uh, you can't cross this bridge She's unless like, I say so. Why are you looking so. at me? <laughs> Hi, Subi. This is Subi. She's an older girl, but she's still Hi. pretty active. Hi. Hi Look Fred. at you, big dog. Yeah. Look at you, big You're dog. You're just making noise, aren't you? We, so we assess all new dogs coming in so that um, no aggressive dogs are ever accepted. Now, if we see a dog that's so fearful, maybe has fear aggression, we can take care of it in the home, but we don't allow those dogs to come here. It would be pretty bad in community boarding. Yeah. So during daycare, there's always somebody out here with the dogs running around, and then Dave's here at night to make sure they're always um, with someone. They're never left alone. And I noticed it is heated and cooled because it's very nice in here. Yeah, we have so. full air and full heat. Um, so it really helps on those dusty days or cold days or super hot days we get occasionally in Las Cruces. Excellent. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, we appreciate the tour. We very much appreciate you being a client of Doc Cruces Magazine. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you again soon. And uh, we'll be talking to Kim about maybe that massage. So we'll see, yeah. uh, see what happens. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. You bet. We'll see you all later. Okay.